Hi everyone, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these cute little hearts. Here's the purple one that I made, the blue one, and then the um, tie-dyed one. I'm going to see it just a little closer. There we go. And um, um, I got this from Jordan Tine's bracelet, fan bracelet. It's recommended to have to make sure that you know how to make the fan bracelet before you make one of these hearts. I guess you don't have to because I'm going to be teaching you how to make like one of those little things. But um, yeah. So right now, um, I'm using the Monster Tail Rainbow Loom. Um, by Rainbow Loom, the company Rainbow Loom. Um, you do not need one of these because you can also make it on the Rainbow Loom. So, um, you just, all you have to do is just use four pegs on this. So, you know, I'm just using this one because it's a little easier. I also made my other ones on the Rainbow Loom. So, it's my first time using the Monster Tail. Okay. So, let's get started. Um, first... Let me put my groups on Do Not Disturb. Okay. So now, um, I can do this video without them disturbing me. But, um, now, um, you're going to need eight on the outside. You're going to need eight on the outside as the outside color. I'm using white today. The outside color is this. And and the inside is pink. And over here you just need 10 of the inside color and 8 on the outside color. You're going to need 16 total of the outside color and 20 of the inside color. Okay now let's get started. First you're going to start out with your outside color. And you're going to go like this. And then you're going to go like this. If you can kind of see that, let me kind of show you the process. It's kind of weird at first, but you know. And what you're going to do kind of see that? You kind of put like this one right here. And then up, yeah, you can see. And then I'm, you're going to need to wrap, to use this and make it a cat band two times. And then first you're going to loop this one, the one that's on the top. I'm going to loop it over to this peg right here. Ah! It shot me! And you're going to put this one over here right now. And then you're going to go in. You can take that off that peg. And then you're going to take this one and do it like that. And then it should look like this. So, and, and on the actual rainbow loom. And then you're going to push it down. And you're going to start going to use your inside color. You're going to put it on once. Loop this over. And I'm going to put it on again. And loop this one over. So then you're going to um, put this rubber, this pink rubber band or your inside colored rubber band right here. And then you're going to get like this first white one right here. The one that you looped the pink one with. And what I do is I put it on this peg right here. See it? I put it right there. And then I take the top one and I put it on the other peg like this. So now you have a down layer for the next little pink layer that you're going to do. And then you're going to take a white and place it right here. And then loop these two colors over. And now you're going to add two more pinks. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easier. Pink. Loop the white one over it. 
pink. Flip the pink one over the pink one. Then you're gonna take this one. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, that does not need to, to happen. You're going to put this one right here. You're gonna do the thing with the white one again. And you're gonna um put that one right there. You'll put this one right here. Make sure none of the bands are twisted. And then you're gonna put this one right here. And we'll loop this over. I'm going to do the two pink ones again. Loop the white one over the pink one. The pink one over the pink one. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to take it, put it on top of the white one. This is really irritating. You're gonna put, take the out, the inside color and put it over the outside color. You can take these two rubber bands. You can put them on either peg. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And then take the one on top and put it over here. Probably getting the hang of it now. If you're not, then you loop the white one over again. It's just repeating itself. A million times so take the white one over the pink one take the pink one over the pink one and you're gonna put oh I forgot to usually I do this I forgot to loop these ones over the white one sorry guys you're probably confused now okay so now I'm going to take this pink one over this white one. Take the whites, put them on one peg, put them on another. You can take one side of the white one, like down here, put it on here, and then put it on here. But I like to put it on one peg and then put it over here. Last one. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. I'll loop these ones over the white one. Making our last one. The white one over the pink one. Loop the pink one over the pink one. Put it over the white one. Now you don't. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I better put these pink ones back up here. Hold on. This stuck. Um, loop these over. Okay. So now, when you're on your last and final fifth layer, layer, you will not need. To put this one, bless you, over here again. You will not need to put this one over again on these two pegs. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the white one, you loop these two rubber bands over. Take this and take it over on the other side on the other peg. Take them on your hook, and now you need a uh, C clip. So you're going to need um, four C clips or S clips for this. I prefer C clips. And then you're going to put it on the end of this for now. Just put it on the end of this one, and th then you're going to make your second one. Just do the exact same thing that you did. I'm going to go just a little faster now. Since you already know how to do it.
it's harder to do it on the monster tail than the actual one the actual rainbow loom so I suggest using the rainbow loom putting this right here putting this one right here putting the pink one on Pink one, a little white one, the white ones over on the pegs. I went over on peg. I went over on peg. Oops, this one's kind of twisted, so I'm just gonna move it like that, and then put this one white one. Oh wait, I'm gonna do the original way I do. First I like loop these white ones over the pink ones so it'll be faster. You know. The pink one. The pink one. Before I loop these two over the white one. That's probably why I did it that one time. And then you're going to take the pink one now and put it over here. It's just a little faster to do like the hearts that way. I think so, so. They're really easy and super cute, so I was like, hey, why not make up a heart? Maybe I could do it. And then I did it, and I love the fan bracelet. I really want to give a lot of creds to the um, creator, Jordan Tyne. Thanks. I really love the tutorial, so I really think you should check out more for bracelets. If you're going to make this bracelet, I mean this heart, of course. If you're going to make the fan bracelet, and you know if you're gonna make like the fan bracelet then I suggest that you make more bracelets of hers or if you make this heart make the fan bracelet and the more bracelets of hers because I really like her bracelets I agree our designs. Really like her designs. So first one I'm gonna do before this one. This is the very last one. I don't usually do this, but I'm just gonna do this anyways because you know. Loop these this one over. Oops, hold on. Pink one slipped. I don't need to do that anymore. Probably my first design I did on this channel so far. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to take both ends of this on your hook. That's all now. And you're going to Take the C clip on this one, one and connect it to this one. Pretty sure, yeah. Make sure they're like facing the right ways, like this. Oh, this is gonna look so cute. I haven't made like a pink one yet, so I'm very excited. Um so then you're gonna take a C clip and take one of the sides. Put it on that side, and then you're going to take the other side, put it on that side, like that. Kind of like a breaking heart. 
you're going to take this end and you're going to do that again, obviously. Then you're going to take your cap band, put a C clip on that one, and then take the other cap band and put a C clip on that, and then connect the C clip to that one. And then you have yourself a heart, but we're not quite done yet because we need to add on the slip knot. Now you're going to have to have an extra band for this. I didn't really include it because some people don't want to make this a charm. Just keep it as a heart. You can also make like a keychain and stuff by adding a single chain to it. Okay, so now all you're going to do is you're just going to loop it through one of the cap bands. See, like that. And then uh, just make a slip knot. Then there is your heart charm. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, these are really fun to make. I really love these. Thanks to Jordan Time for making up this bracelet and inspiring me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.